page 459, section 7.3, number 46. Here we have square root of 18 for this thing to break down. So even number, we're going to start with 2. 2 times 9 give me 18. 9 keep break down will be 3 and 3. Okay, for square roots, we are looking for pair. Two number, they are the same. They become 1. So 1, 3 goes out. 2 by itself. So 2 stay inside. So we have 3 square roots of 2. Now let's look at number 50. We have negative square root of 48. Negative signs outside, so we're going to keep that negative sign. That breakdown 48 will be 2, uh, 24, 2, 12, 2, 6, 2, 3. Here you just break down a whole bunch 2. Okay, for square root, we are looking for pair. So here's my pair, of, one pair of 2, one 2 goes out. Another pair of 2, another 2 goes out. We have 3 by itself, so 3 stay inside. Then after that, every time you have more than one number inside, more than one number outside, you need to multiply all the number outside together. So here we have negative 4 square roots of 3. Okay, now let's look at number 56. 56 here, we have Q roots of 24. We have little 3 outside. The little 3 telling us we're looking for 3 number. They are the same. So let's break down 24. will be 212. 2, 6, 2, and 3. The little 3 outside are telling us we're looking for 3 number. They are the same. So here's my 1, 2, 3, 3, 2. So they become 1, 2. Okay, they go out. Then 3 is by itself. So 3 stay inside. Don't forget that little 3. That little 3 is very important. Now let's look at number. Number, uh, let's see, number 64. Number 64, we have fifth rule of 1, 2, 8. Now, a little 5 outside, that's telling us we're looking for 5 number. They are the same. Let's break down. 1, 2, 8. We're going to use 2, 64, 2, and 32, 2, 16, 2, 8, 2, 4, 2, 2. So here... We are looking for five number. They are the same, five, two. So it doesn't matter which two pick. We'll need to find two. So here, five, two. So one goes out. Now we have two and two left. So twos and two stay inside. Again, every time you have more than one number outside, the more than one number inside, you need to multiply all the outside number with outside number, inside number with inside number. So you have two square roots of four. Okay. Now let's look at number. Let's, let's look at number... 70. Number 70 here, we have square root of 18 and square. So here, let's break down 18. 18 will be 2, 9, 3, and 3. Square roots, we are looking for a pair. Two number, they are the same. They become 1. So 1, 3 goes out. 2 by itself. So 2 stay inside. Okay, over here, n squared is what? n times n. See, here's my pair of n. So that's my pair. So 1m goes out. So that's the answer. Now let's look at number 72. Okay, number 72. Let me change color. Number 72. Here we have square root of 169S5T10. 169, if you use your calculator, will be 13. So here... 169 will be square root of 13. That's my pair of 13. So 113 goes out. Okay, let's do the long way. So here, s to the fifth power. So this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 s. So here, again, for square root, we are looking for a pair. Two number they are the same, they become one. So one pair, two pair will be s square. Then we have another s by itself, so that, so that s stay inside the roots. Okay, now let's look at t10. T10, you write down T1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Again, for square, we're looking for a pair. So here, one pair, two pair, three, four, five. All the T goes out be T to the fifth power. Okay, those are the long way to do it. I'm going to show you an easy way to do it. So here, for example, over here, if for square roots, okay, that's over here, example over here. 
Let me use different color. Example over here. It has square root of x. We want to change from x square root to exponential. So be one half. Q root of x will be one third. You have little four outside, will be one fourth. You have little five outside, so be one fifth. Okay, now let's go back over here. Let's take the square roots. So here, let's take the square roots of s to the fifth power. So here you use s5 for square root. Square root is what? 2. So you divide it by 2. So here you use long division. 5 divided by 2, 2 times 2 gave me a 4, remainder of 1. So this, tell, this telling you, okay, this telling you the top number, okay, this number right here, tell you how many goes out. So be S square go out. Then the remainder, okay, then the remainder tell you how many stay inside. So here you can see we have one here, one left, so that one stay inside. Okay, now, now as if you use square root of t10, so here t to the 10th power, for square root you divide by, you divide by 2, right? Divided by 2. So you answer 10 divided by 2, so be t to the 5th power, so everything goes out. Okay, now let me go to the next page. Let me show you another example. Okay, example over here. You have q roots of x to the 17. So here, x, let me, will be x to the 17. Since it's q little 3, so you divide it by 3. So use long division. 17 divided by 3, 5, 15, remainder of 2. Again, the top number tell you how many goes out. So be x to the fifth power goes out. The bottom, the remainder tell you how many stay inside. So here, I have 2, so it'll be x squared. Then don't forget, okay, we have that little 3, so must keep that little 3. Okay, so that's how you change from expon uh, square root to exponential. Okay, now let's look at the next one. Now let's look at number 80. Number 80, we have negative q roots of negative 216 y to the 15, x to the 6, z to the 3. So first, take that negative outside, okay, this negative, okay, let's bring down that negative, this negative, that goes down, okay. The next, the negative inside, you also take out, so you have double negative. Now let's break down 6, 216, 216, so use 2. So use 2, 1, 0, 8, use 2 again. So it'll be 54, use 2 again, 27. Now 27 is our number, so we're going to use 3, 9, 3, 3. For little 3 outside, that's telling us we're looking for 3 number. they are the same. So here's my 2, 3, so 1 goes out. Then here's my 3, 3, so 3 goes out. So all the number goes out. Okay, next, over here. We have y to the 15. Because we have little 3 outside, that little 3 outside, so we're going to divide everything by 3. So be y to the 5th power. So tell you all the y goes out, y to the 5th power goes out. Next, let's look at the x. x to the 6. Because that little 3 outside, so telling us we must divide by what? 3. So this will be x squared. So tell you all the x goes out. The last one will be z, z to the third power, again, because that little 3, we must divide by that 3, so 3 divided by 3 is 1, so just a z, so 1z goes out. Then after that, you have more than one number outside, you need to multiply all the number outside, so here, okay, here you can see, negative, negative become positive number, no more negative, then 2 times 3, give me a 6, then y to the fifth power, x squared z, then that's the answer. Okay, now let's look at number, let's see, let's look at number 93, uh, 90, 94 then, number 9, uh, no 94, let's look at number 90, number 90, 
we have Q root of 64 A15 B12. Okay, so here, little three telling us we, look, can, we are looking for three numbers, they are the same. 64, you can use two, but the easy way to use four, so I'm going to use four. Four times 16. 16, I will be four and four. So here you can see, that's my three, four. So one, four goes out. Okay, one, four goes out. Now next, let's go for A. A to the 15, because we have that little three outside, so we need to divide by three, so it becomes A to the fifth power, so all the A goes out. Next, B, B12. Again, because that little three, so we need to divide it by three, so it becomes B4, so all the B goes out, so that's the answer.